You would hope, huh? I mean, do they realize? I... Hey, is he laying on his back or his stomach? I think he's laying on his stomach. He's, he's going to have hands all over the place. Pat, watch those hands. Oh. Yeah, be careful. You never know where Catholic hands go. Whoa. 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 What? Oh, I'm just saying, at Notre Dame. At Notre Dame. Can't Notre Dame. Say that here. No, Easy. I'm just saying, at Notre Dame. There's no know. way this happens. I don't even know how they're going to get it. Incredible. This was at College Game Day in South Bend, Indiana, as Notre Dame was set to take on Ohio State. Lots of thoughts on this. First, the softness coming from one side. No way this show stays on air for long, but it's not because of ratings, one person chimed in. Another wrote, the war against Catholics is alive and well. Imagine ESPN saying this about another religion. It's absurd how mainstream it is to hate Catholics. And frankly, a scary time to be a Catholic in America. Really? Really? I honestly, you know, I thought Bears football would crush my brain enough. But hearing this victim complex coming from Catholics. Oh, man, there's so much I want to say here. Let's go to this. How does Pat McAfee open his show? The following program is a collection of stooges talking about happenings in the sports world. It is meant to be comedic informative. The opinions expressed on this show do not necessarily reflect the beliefs of their peers, their boss, or ESPN. There may be some cuss words because that's how humans in the real world talk. If you are young, please seek permission before watching any further. Still, more folks were really ticked. And some think they identified who the comment came from. By a gentleman whose name is Boston Connor. Seen here. You could also see him on some ESPN broadcasts when, specifically, obviously the show is on ESPN, but they're on the sideline doing game pass for, you know, national championship last year, other college football fixtures that I've seen as well. Steve Franklin also hated it. Another example of the war on Catholicism. Be careful. You never know where Catholic hands go as heard on the Pat McAfee show on ESPN from Notre Dame. Absolutely disgusting. Pat McAfee should be fired immediately. My religion is not comedy. Here's what I'll say about this. There's some truth in comedic acts. We make light of it to laugh from crying. I believe that there would be less comedy from your religion if there was accountability. If, for example, a member of the archdiocese did not jump from one church to another and get away with wrongdoings, the cover-ups have been real. And for someone on this network to make the joke was incredibly surprising because it's Disney. I would also guarantee that there was a stern talking to about this. But to just see these comments that the, the war, there's no war on Catholicism. You guys are drinking the Kool-Aid from MAGAism and thinking that y'all are under attack. When really, the loudest voices and the biggest shields to bigotry are y'all. It's what y'all are doing. When you're going after people that believe in other things than you, because frankly, we don't care. When you're going after uh, Ilhan Omar, when you're going after Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, when you're going after trans kids who just want to make friends, when you're going after the LGBTQ community, so you simply uh, don't want to bake them a cake, or be hired to run a website, even though that case that was heard before the Supreme Court that they ruled on literally has never existed before because there were no examples of it. What do you use to double down? Religion. 